Hello, I'm testing the audio. <laughs> Is the audio good? My skin's glowing with the f Hello, I could not be more excited to film this video, honestly. We are, what is floating in my pool? Honey, there's a yoga mat in our pool. Anyways, hello, I am so excited for this video because baby, we are going to Cabo. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Cabo, I am vaccinated, and I'm just, I'm ready to go. Well, actually, I'm not ready to go at all. Like, actually, nothing is ready, so that's what this video is. Hello. In this video, I'm gonna be bringing you along for pretty much everything to get myself ready for this hot girl trip. Honestly, it's a hot girl trip. Me and Honey are going, and we have a couple friend that we made here. And we're all gonna go together like a double date couple Cabo moment for a week. This is the place we're staying. Like we went off. I truly cannot wait to get there, but so many things need to be done before that can be possible. So that's what we're here for. Hello. I mean, I think some things are a little bit more obvious than others. Like I need to sort this out. I'll bring you with. I have a bunch of nail inspo for this trip. Honestly, I popped off. I have a lot of every type of inspo for this trip. This is kind of the fashion inspo that I got going on. I did lots of research and basically scoured the internet to get these pieces and these looks and things are already starting to come in. I do have a little bit of anxiety because some of the packages haven't gotten here yet and I'm like, are you gonna make it in time? But I figured it's a long summer. If they don't make it in time, I'll find another pool to wear it too. You know what I mean? No stress. So yes, today I'm gonna be putting together all the looks, doing a bunch of try-ons, seeing what I got in. If you need inspo for summer looks, you got the right video because I ordered from so many different websites that I've never heard of, trying new things, trying new styles, and I think I'm really gonna pop off, so there's that. I need to get my nails done. Uh, I need to figure this out. I need to figure out if I'm gonna do a spray tan or a self tan or how that's gonna work. We're gonna pack together. We're gonna talk accessories together. And basically, you're gonna come along with me on the process where I build all my looks out. Now, I'm a big fan of accessories. I feel like accessories really bring an outfit to life. So those are top of mind when I'm putting my looks together, like how do the shoes and the bag and the necklaces and the earrings tie in, make a statement. I also need to get all of my essentials for travel, like my body oils that make me look bomb in all my pictures, my SPF, all the good things. Let's get into it. I literally could not be more excited. So this is what my dining room table has looked like this whole week. I need to get in here and see what I actually have going on. But a lot has already come in and if you need vacation essentials, like I said, I got the tea. So I got these cute little flip flops from Steve Madden. I figured these would be cute with a bikini moment. I have a lot of inspo with these. And the 2000s are back. It's funny because I used to cringe. Probably like what, two years ago we would all cringe that we used to wear flip flop heels. And now they're back in style and now they're super trendy and super Y2K. I also got these from Steve Madden and I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I do, but I put these on and they are so light. Like they're not heavy at all and they're super easy to walk in. This material, I'm forgetting what it's called. It's called like, I wanna say rattan or something. I don't know, but this material, you know what I'm talking about? This is everything for the summer. Like this just screams vacation to me. And honestly, these shoes ended up being so light and easy to walk in that I'm like, wait, are these gonna be what I'm gonna run around the town in? Like, I don't care. I will be extra. Like I will go to the mall and walk around in these. Why not? And then I also got these from Steve Madden. They look good and they're probably gonna be good for a photo. These also give me very vacation vibes, but they kind of like swallow the body of my foot right here and it's not the most flattering cut. So I think she'll be good for a photo. And like, that's about it. For jewelry, I had eight other reasons send me these and they graciously did. And I'm like obsessed with eight other reasons. Their jewelry is like honestly so good. I feel like their jewelry is the perfect, like not super expensive jewelry, but not cheap jewelry. And they have a lot of like super interesting styles that really bring an outfit to life. And it's not very, very expensive. Like you're not paying a crazy amount of money, but it's not, you know, cheap costume jewelry that's gonna last you like two, three times and only be good for an Instagram picture. Like these are actually gonna last you. They also sell these travel bags and I just feel so ready to go with these, but I'll show you some of the pieces that I'm excited about. Okay, so these beaded ones are anklets and like how summer is that? This must be an anklet too because it looks a little too big to be a bracelet, but I'm super into these adorable like color jewelry now. I mean, obviously, as you know, like kind of that 90s inspired jewelry is coming back. Like the jewelry that we used to wear literally as kids, like it's fully back. Like these rings, for example, and these smiley face little 
little necklaces. Like all of that is back and I'm so happy about it. I think it's honestly like the cutest thing. I also got a bunch of these chunky costume jewelry looking rings, which are definitely a summer essential this year. And oh my God, I finally got added to the IMG APR list. But the way I'm about to pop off, like look at this set. So it's these pants and I honestly didn't know what to expect and then I tried it on yesterday and I was like, oh, for a little dinner moment, a little all black dinner moment, this is gonna be absolutely everything. So it's these pants. I'm gonna try on a bunch of stuff too so you can see what things look like on at some point in this video, but I'm just going through what I have right now. So it's these pants and they have this like leather looking detail, but it doesn't feel like leather, which I appreciate because leather is never comfortable. And the back has this cute little detailing on it, but the best part is the top. It's this like halter moment. I just feel so Christina Aguilera in it for some reason. So like this set, ah, uh, that's gonna be a moment. Wait, I don't even know what this is. Oh my God, there's no way. Okay, okay, I asked for this bodysuit and I didn't even realize that they had sent it. This is either gonna look really good or really bad, but I'm leaning on really good. I swear I can never tell what their clothes are gonna look like on my body because they literally only have one model on the entire website and she's like literally probably two feet taller than me. So I can never imagine what things are gonna look like on me, but typically they somehow look good. Like this one piece, we're gonna have to try her on. And this Y2K looking bikini, it looks like it's gonna be a moment. Ah. This kind of looks like that mural that everybody takes pictures in in LA. You know what I'm talking about? Like where you see the tourists line up to stand in front and go like, hey, hey guys. So as you I'm sure know by now, I've been in the process of completely revamping my closet and kind of reinventing my wardrobe. So through the process of doing that, Instagram has clearly caught on since they monitor all of our actions and we have no idea that they do it, but we kind of know that they do it, but there's nothing we could do about it. But anyway, since they know about my entire life, they are now serving me these targeted Instagram ads for all these random companies that I'd never heard about. And this is one of them. This is a company called Addicted, E-D-I-K-T-E-D. I honestly have a problem with late night escapades. Like I'll just sit on my phone and like order a bunch of stuff, forget about it, black it out. And then two weeks later, it will show up at the door and I'm like, wait, not Christmas. Oh, hold up. Oh, okay, I don't think this is very Cabo, but I'm still excited to add these things to my closet. Honestly, this could be Cabo. We shall see. Oh, wow. I got this cute little Argyle tank top. Argyle is so in style right now, if you have no argyle in your closet, I would consider getting this print. It's honestly just like cute and funky and very in style. Okay, so I got this one on a whim. I'm sure that you've seen this green dress everywhere. This is a knockoff and this is orange, but if you know, you know. But you know this green dress that we've seen everywhere for like two years now? I never got the OG green one from the OG designer, so it feels weird to get like the knockoff green one a year later. Like we've seen it, we've done it, we're tired. So I figured I'd get a similar one in an orange color. Let me try it on and see if it has a similar effect. But this honestly could be cute, like with a little bikini moment underneath in Cabo. And then I have those orange ASOS heels that could go with this perfectly. And then maybe like a little white bag in a tan bucket hat moment. Ooh, not me getting ideas. Okay, this is everything. I feel like I don't even have to tell you that knit is super in right now. So this knit dress is kind of giving me everything I want in life. Ooh. Okay, this is a moment. Let me see something. Oh, okay. So I have two shoe options that could look really good with this moment. I brought these just in case, but if these are the perfect orange, then I feel like it's a no-brainer to just wear these. Wow, honestly, like just like this is really cute. I brought these just in case the orange was like too off from the dress. Ooh. Okay. I'm honestly a little bit torn. So let me know in the comments if I should wear these and do it super matchy matchy or if I should do these and incorporate some of the orange but just do more of like a pop of color moment. Okay, these look very, very promising. Look at how cute the details on them are. It literally has the word vacation on it and buy and all these cute little graphics. Now, I feel like the old me would be afraid of prints and colors and text on a jean like this, but the new me is open to have a little more fun. So I feel like these are gonna rock. Also the cut of them looks like they're gonna be cool girl pants. Let's see if we can get them approved by Henny, who's been doubling as my stylist. Honestly, he can put together some looks. Like, he put together all of these, so he is a king. Henny, can you approve these pants for me? They are a little bit funky, so just keep that in mind, but it could be the good kind of funk. Oh. It 
it's fun. The pants obviously are a little more fun. The top, I think, is, is classic as hell. You could do it with baggy jeans, ripped jeans, like leather pants. I feel like you're not sold on the pants. I like the top more than the pants, but I also like the pants. The pants is just, it is what it is. It's more fun. Can you let me know if these rock or if they suck? <laughs> just be honest with me. So I like the idea of these pants, but I don't understand why they're tapered in at the bottom. I feel like if these pants were in a wide leg cut, they would be 10 times better. But I'm not opposed to rocking them. I just don't know how to really style this cut. Like it feels very much skinny jean. It feels very much millennial and I am very much Gen Z. Okay, so these look interesting. It has like a V cut at the front, like the belly, which I like. But again, I guess I didn't realize that they were skinny. And it has a matching top. It might be a hit or it might really be a miss. But I'm thinking if it's a miss, maybe I could get it tailored and turn these into booty shorts. <laughs> Okay, I mean, honestly, this outfit is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but if I bring it back to things I'm familiar with, I can see myself getting comfortable with it. Like, it's a clueless woman, right? I mean, I love the cut of this. Again, I wish it was a wider leg, but I do love the top. And maybe what I'll end up doing is just getting it tailored to be mini shorts. Is this a bad idea or a good idea? Okay, so I put on the IMG a bodysuit to give it a little looksies, and I truly feel like Catwoman in this. Like, this is absolutely everything, and I feel like it cinches me in the perfect places and I feel comfortable in it. The only thing that I think I'll probably have to get adjusted is the length because sometimes I swear they make their clothes for people that are literally a foot taller. So if I just take this in a little bit at the bottom, I feel like it'll do less of that scrunchy effect down there. But actually, let me know if the scrunchy thing looks intentional or if I should absolutely get it in. Now let's get into the fun part. I have to try on my bikinis and see which ones are worthy of this trip. I have my heels on. I feel like you gotta try on bikinis and heels because it just gives you an extra level of confidence. I can't express how much I love these steam matted shoes. Like they are literally, they weigh like nothing. I think I'm gonna wear these every day of my life. Okay, let's see what I have. Okay, so for starters, we have this one from RJ Swim. This one will definitely make the cut and come with me to my trip. Also, look at how cute it comes with this little skirt. I haven't decided how I'm gonna style it yet, but I feel like I could take it in any direction. Honestly, it looks good with these shoes, but I don't wanna overdo these shoes, you know? Okay, this is everything. I like the skirt super tiny like this, so I'll probably wear it like a low rise moment and then leave the bikini hanging up on the sides. Ooh, okay, this is bathing suit number two. This one is from White Fox and typically, I don't know, typically I shy away from things that are this matchy matchy, but in this case, this is everything. Like what? I had wanted a different style of top and they were sold out of it on the website, but now that this one's here, I honestly feel really cute in it. I like the cut in the back and I feel like this is a moment. I have these purple heels that might be too matchy matchy. Honestly, you let me know. So I could style it like this, which honestly could be too lavender, but I kind of love it. Lavender never hurt anybody. I think this is exactly what I'm gonna wear this like. Fire, okay. Look how cute this outfit is, can you see? Come here. So I wear these shoes, wrap them up all around the leg. Not the heels. I try on bathing suits and heels because it gives me confidence. Oh, absolutely not, it's not too matchy-matchy. I would go with the purple, of course. And the purple bag? Yes, why not? It's not matchy-matchy, it's all one tone. You're matching. Facts. Like what's wrong with that? I love it. Imagine if I was actually your height. Not even that. I don't mind. Okay, let's see this one on because I'm a little skeptical about it, but now that I put it on, I feel like I do like the cut. Honestly, when I'm picking out bathing suits, like half of it is how cute the print is, but the other half is the cut. And I'd say what's more important to me is fit above anything else. Now, does this tie here? Okay, so this is from a brand called PQ. This is everything that Zebra is coming back to, which is fun. Like, Zebra is honestly a fun animal print. I'm glad we are, as a society, graduating from cow print because... I feel like that had its moment, but it kind of dragged out a little bit. Like I still see cow manicures and I'm like, let's graduate. So I feel like zebra is a good place to start. The only caveat that I have with this bathing suit is that this is just a little bit like baggy, but I guess that just means I need to, need to grow my butt. Maybe it's not the bathing suit's problem. I also got this cute tie-dye little pink moment from IMG. I always love the fit of these bathing suits. Like they always just fit really nicely. And I even got the tie-dye pants to match. These have a really cool wraparound detail that honestly is really flattering because when you do the wraparound, it kind of like makes a V here, which for some reason makes your butt look good, which you wouldn't expect. But I'm thinking this would be a perfect moment for like chilling poolside or walking around a resort or something. This little set and then taking it off to go tanning while drinking a Mai Tai. You know the vibes. 
I feel like this might be obvious, but maybe it's not. All these little bathing suit outfits, when I put them together, are gonna be totally accessorized, and that's what really helps bathing suit outfits come to life. Like, right now, this is cute as is, but the second I add a little body chain, like, that's really gonna make the thing come to life. Maybe even some anklets. Like, honestly, I like to personally go crazy with the jewelry when I'm wearing bikinis, so I highly recommend it because it adds such a layer of, like, bad bitch energy when you're in your bathing suit, trust me. Oh, and obviously, like, a very bitchy pair of sunglasses, but that's a given. Okay. So I'm about to go get my nails done and this is what I landed on. I feel like these just scream summer and they look beautiful, but I already know that it's one of those nail designs that you're gonna have to take your hand in and out and in and out and in and out of the light. And I cringe every time I have to stick my hand in the UV light machine because there's no way that's good for our skin. I feel like it's just singeing off the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a lot of SPF on the back of my hands and hopefully this helps even a little bit. I feel like it's not gonna do much, but it's better than nothing and I'm gonna bring it to in case I wash my hands. Vamos! I just got in my car and it smells like a rat crawled in here and died. And that's what I get for leaving Mexican food in the front seat for two weeks. That is so nasty. That smell is vile. So I posted a TikTok about this and I was honestly dead serious. For all upcoming places that I go, I only want to go to tropical places. Like honestly, 2020 was so historic and so much shit hit the fan and it was such a stressful year that I don't want to go when things are back to normal. Travel to a big city, to go sit on a subway, to sit on a train, to sit on a tourist tour guide bus situation. Like, I don't want to see the sights. I'm not interested. I don't want to go to landmarks and see the history. Like, I really don't want to for the foreseeable future. I just want to relax. Like, I want to hit the beach. If I'm going to go out of my way, there better be a beach at the end of the flight. Like, you know what I mean? I just feel like 2020 was so much that I'm good. Like, I'm good for a while, and I feel like a lot of people really agreed with me on the TikTok. Anyways, I need to blast, because I gotta go get these nails done, and I didn't bring a pair of headphones, which is honestly the worst. Manicures with no headphones feel 80 times longer, and they actually are. And with what I'm getting done today, it's probably gonna be like a three-hour process, but let's see, you never know. This is the official before. <laughs> Bam, she went off. Oh, you can't tell in this lighting. That makes sense. Um, I'll insert a picture. Okay. <laughs> I'll insert a pic. Yes, I'll insert a picture, but she absolutely went off. Okay, next part of this is um, I have been growing my booty in time for summer because I want my summer body to be accompanied with a large peach. So let me get into that. I'm going to kind of walk you through how I've been doing it. Every time I post a boomerang, on the treadmill, I get a bunch of DMs like, girl, what are you doing to grow your butt? So here we go. Is that you changing the lights? Yeah, I'm trying. We have a special guest today in the vlog. Not a special guest. I think people know me. I think they already know that you're the main character. So on the days where I really focus on glutes, I'll do 15 minutes of 12, 3, 30 as a warm up, get my blood pumping. And after that, I'll get into it. Um, but 12, 3, 30 is perfect for the days in between because, uh, can you explain, honey? I feel like you're better at this, but you okay. can't like, you can't work out your butt every day of the week or else it won't grow, funny enough. No, it's not that you can't work out your butt, is that um, you need a break. Weightlifting takes a lot out of you and it needs the whole point of, it grows when you're resting, so you need to rest. So sometimes, even though it's counterintuitive, if you work out every single day, you're not allowing your muscle to repair yeah, itself, which is how part. it grows. Not you, explaining it better than me. Literally. No, but you can still work out every day. You just shouldn't do like the exact same You shouldn't action. do weights every day. Yeah, like if you're doing those hip thrusters, you shouldn't do that every single day trying to get, you know, stronger because at one point I feel like you're going to hit a wall. I can show you my nails better in this light. Isn't this set everything? I thought it was gonna take a lot longer and it was kind of quick and I was like, whoa, should I be doing stripes like this all the time? So I'm about to go get waxed. I'm not even the type of gal to get waxed because eh, seems dramatic, seems like a lot of pain when you could just shave. But I thought I was going to embark on my laser hair removal journey on my arms. So I show up to my laser place and we didn't have enough time to do my arms that day. So I just shaved my arms for no reason and now they're growing back and they feel like a chia pet. So I'm gonna go get them waxed so that I can feel a little bit better because they really grew back like blades. So let's get a European wax center. 
Do 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 field trip time. Yeah. I just got here. Wish me luck. Has it ever happened to you where you drink coffee and you feel like you're gonna throw up? Like I just took a sip of coffee, like a couple sips of coffee, and now I feel like I'm gonna yak. So, just want to know if this is me or if this is common. Let me know. Um, imagine having to go get your arms waxed when you feel like hurling. <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> Oh, can you even see the the red moment? Usually I have a lot more red, like I can't go in public, but today I look passable. Anyways, I feel like a bald eagle, and I'm ready to go, baby. Oh boy, I got home and some more targeted Instagram packages came in. I, honestly, Instagram's algorithm knows how to serve me exactly what I want. Let's open it up and see if this is all it's cracked out to be and see if she's clickbait or see if she lives up to the photos. This is from a place called Verb girl. Verb girl. Okay, let's see what you got. Do we like the new addition to the room? I put a snake plant in here. That's definitely not a snake, snake plant. Fig? I put this fig in here. It used to be in the living room, but I felt like the living room would be more drama. So now there's a big, awesome tree in the living room that really emphasizes the height of the ceilings that I love. So I brought that tree into here. We all know that knit is in. This is like a knit sweater. I like that there's a fun print on it and I feel like this is just like a super chill, cozy at home moment or like hitting the town. Cute. Oh, okay. Ooh, she is everything. So this is a knit little dress, but the material is so thin. That's what I was worried about with getting a bunch of knit pieces in the middle of summer. I'm like, knit's really in right now? Like in the middle of summer? I mean like, okay, go off. But this makes sense to me because it's literally the lightest fabric ever. Should I try her on? Give us a little mini fashion show. Okay, absolutely. I could see this dress being over a bathing suit or being a dress moment of its own. Like, okay, I also love the groovy print. Okay, I don't remember selecting her, but she looks funky. Halter tops definitely give me all the Y2K energy. Okay, so, I mean, these are attached, but I feel like this is gonna be constricting. Okay, like, this is a cute moment. I'm just unsure if this is, like, if they packaged it like this or if it's supposed to stay like this, but this seems... Off. I feel like I'm just gonna end up cutting this off and trying my best not to lose these standalone sleeves. Okay, so she's a little, oh, there's, how is this gonna fit my boobs? I don't know what I was thinking when I selected this size. I mean, it's actually my size. Could you imagine this being able to cover? I mean, should we give her a, should we give her a shot? You don't know till you try. I'll try it on with these jeans, which these jeans, these jeans are getting me excited. So I've been looking for a fun pair of printed jeans, but honestly, I don't think this is gonna fit my waist. This looks tiny. Okay, yeah. Okay, fun. Okay, wait, these are fun. Obviously not with this top, but this is a moment. These pants are fun. Very cool. Let's see if this purple top is. Somehow this top fits. It's very, uh, by the skin of my teeth. Is that a saying? Actually, it fits me well, but I'm very surprised. Are we living for this color though? Like a green pair of zebra pants and a pastel top? Spring, summer is upon us. I also think I said the name of this store wrong. It's Verge Girl. Verge Girl. Another package that just arrived that honestly saves my life. This drink aid stuff. Drink it the night before or like right before you have a cocktail or two and you wake up perfect the next day. That's the tea. Don't say I never told you any good stuff. Guys, I have made it to Cabo. I feel like this outfit is so much fun. The Y2K aesthetic is so back that it's not even funny. Check me out. Okay, we have a little zebra moment on the pants. A little green moment up top. Oh, okay. Life's too short to not have fun with fashion, honestly. Um, Cabo is so underrated. I love it so much. Like Every time I come here, I'm just like, this is not real. Like, hello, ma'am. I feel like we got catfished in like the best way possible because this VRBO, Airbnb, whatever, did not look this lit in the pictures. And then we got here and we got reverse catfish. Like, so much better. Anyways, I'm gonna be vlogging this trip. So, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for some outfit inspo, baby. And I will see you in the next video. Love you. Goodbye.